Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Now I've uploaded the correct version of the build that you're about to see in today's video quite a number of times. It is one of, if not the best builds in the game. It involves usually getting the quest that gets uh, golden during combat, not permanently, for your left and rightmost minion. And we're talking about the Blaster, the Baron, the Kangors, and the Omega Buster. And you, this is called kind of like the mech scam build. It is beatable if you have stats like 300s or 400s, but normally under most game conditions, it is the best build in the game. So it being the best build in the game, it's worth pursuing. But sometimes, as is the case in the video you're about to see, you don't quite get the pieces, and there's some improv required, and I thought this was a pretty cool, actually viable twist to the build, though there are maybe a few more weaknesses than normal, but it's all good and fun, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I already won with Jailer, and Jailer kind of sucks. Let's do an Omo game. Another night, another There's an article here for Jay Wilson. He's like the, the lead dev of Diablo 3 when that launched. He says, the two mistakes they made with Diablo 3. One of them was like itemized coding and stuff, and that one's totally right. But the other thing he mentions is number one on his list. We were worried about revealing our story, so we did not do a full beta test. Like... You know, just My just so, just in case you guys don't believe me. We were worried about revealing our story, so we did not do a full you beta test. Be strong, even in the face of defeat. Holy crap. Magical things come in oh, God. Do you guys know the Diablo 3 story? Yeah, Tyrael does some stuff, Cain dies, and like, you kill Diablo. <laughs> Literally, you can write a better story by just having Cain live. That's it. Just don't kill him. And I'd like to point out that I have no idea how Reaper of Souls or Diablo 4 ties into that mess. Could do it. Not too bad. Let's try to scale. The five health breakpoint's pretty big this early. So they didn't do a beta test because of the story. Well, they beta test until Skeleton King. I want to point out that the game was clearly thoroughly tested before Skeleton King, and clearly not very much afterwards. <laughs> Like, you guys remember this? I'm not the only one, right? That game was pristine in Act 1. After that, you know, I mean... Okay, it's alright. Remember shots? There. Nice. Jay Wilson was a total douchebag on the forums. Man, I'm gonna read the forums. Yeah, maybe. Act two wasps not tested. It's dangerous out there. You didn't like the wasps. You can handle it. Oh my. Omu with that is ridiculous. I'll do what I can. Okay. Because Omu can level really quickly. It wasn't just wasps. Okay. I think the dumbest mechanics in Diablo 3 were the damage scaling on the higher difficulties. Which, again, they just admitted to not really testing. Um, the party play at higher diff... If you played in a party on normal there were no penalties the penalties only came in at higher difficulties so they obviously didn't test that the game was not playable in a group of four the, the, the diablo 3 when it launched was 
insanely easy if you played by yourself versus a group. <laughs> it's such a dumb concept. Right? But again, that's only for higher difficulties. Um, there were like a number of bugs. Um, and I think the crucial part that was a massive blunder in Diablo 3 was gear scaling. Like, again, you can do one quadrillion damage in one hit in Diablo 3. And that's because every single stat multiplies your damage. Every single stat. That's crazy to me. I don't understand how you could possibly think it would be a good idea to do that. Everyone starts somewhere. Dudes introduced the first real money auction house and didn't think it was worth beta testing the game. No, he didn't say that. He said they didn't beta test the game because they wanted to preserve the story. And he admitted that was the biggest mistake they made with the game. But all the stuff I'm saying just reinforces what he said. Just hit that enemy for seven, that's insane. Yeah, I'd much rather have that. Five levels, you'd quit the game, then buy some stuff from the real money auction house. The strongest leveling gear on launch was level 60 gear with minus level requirement. I mean that's still the case. I mean, okay, let's let's get ri let's forget the part that every single stat in Diablo three multiplies your damage. They just flat out made max level weapons do like a hundred times the damage of mid level weapons. It's like, what the hell is the point of that? It's like dropping zeros like it's nothing. There's just no point doing that. I, I feel the bigger the numbers, the more multipliers, the harder it is to balance a game. It's like, okay guys, we're gonna make a game and then like every stat multiplies the other stat and damage and we're just gonna add some zeros to the high level stuff and uh, yeah, let's see uh, let's see if it's balanced. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like like I I, I I never, I don't think I ever, 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 I don't think I ever blamed Blizzard for not properly balancing Diablo 3 because it was clearly not possible. Like the, the way they, they, they made the game, it just wasn't going to happen. Wow, it's so much stronger than before. It may not be the most powerful minion on the field, but it's uh, I like Uther, but I don't have the right card to Play it on. Just Manted Queen? No, I really don't need Manted Queen. Fine, let's play this on that so we're like a little bit less weak. Your Meteors deal 80,000% more damage. Yep. See what happens when you dress for success? I'm nuts for not taking Theotar. I'm a professional. Don't worry about it. I found the best. Everyone starts somewhere. Theotar in my face. 
favor. Wow, it's so much stronger than before. As a pure heart, I can tell. Go hire one of those minions to join our team. Good luck out there. I believe in you. One of those minions to join. Why, of course, I can take that one in. Here's a gold for it. Yeah. The buster after the three one? No. We want the 3-1 to fill the board, so the Buster buffs more cards. Busker? Do you even busk? My full name is Tuxedo Magic, Crystal Man of Mystery. But you can call me Hearthrug. Amazing out there. There's some good new recruits here. Don't let them get away. There's some good new recruits here. Don't let them get away. Is there anything more beautiful than this minion's loyalty? That a good idea? I don't know. I need one more for Buster. What are you talking about? I think it's fine. Keep it up. Your minions are dependent on you. Yep. Oh, good, baby. I knew you could do it. There's some good new recruits here. Let them Walmart go Exodia. Yeah. <laughs> Walmart Exodia. Uh, White main hard counter stolen gold. We'll see. See what happens when you dress for success?
looked, I mean, you did amazing out there. Everyone starts somewhere. Nothing scares me, except mice. No Kangors allowed. The bots are only buffed twice. Yeah, I don't know. This build is dumb, so... Third Menace? Yeah, I think it's fine. See what happens when you dress for success? Yo, this is this is yes. What? Oh my god. Oh no. Well don't let it get you down. Kangor. I can take that, Woody. Here's a gold for my champions. Okay. I think my genius build is gonna work. He can't counter me. Yeah, he can't counter me because my Baron is not at the end. The Baron leads the charge. Okay. Okay. So he can't counter me. But I'm going to counter him. And because I have six minions, my white main is going to hit two targets. Yeah, dude. Giga Chad Baron version. No, no, no. The selfless is where it needs to be. This is this is a correct order, I believe. Actually, no. That is the correct order. Actually, no. That is the correct order. Yes. That is the correct order. Okay, we're good now. We're good. What am I doing? Just pay attention, bro. Just pay attention. Look at this. Just, just watch. Just watch. Oh, yeah. I mean, it ain't 30, but you know, I tried. You looked, I mean, you did amazing that thing. might be good. Oh, okay. I knew I was saving those for a reason. It's so much stronger than before. Nope. Order is still wrong. No, it's not. Well, if I sell the wolf to roll, I can't buy anything. If he puts a small minion first, I'm toast. No, because I'm going to taunt his support units. There's a fair chance that the Baron won't take that much damage. I I need Selfless t to hit Baron. This is the only way it does that as a guaranteed. It's a beautiful night. Time for a serenade. Uh oh. Me. 
Really? Well, he had a really crappy cleave and he put his big minions there, but I hadn't played him since I had that order. Honestly, I think that guy might be sniping. He put his big minions last and bought a crappy cleave that turn. He literally hard countered with his purchases and positioning. If it was just the cleave, I wouldn't have said anything, but he put his biggest minions in front of the taunt. The double counter has to be a snipe. That's more than suspicious. I'm calling snipe on that one. Because if he didn't have both of those things, I think I may have done it there.